The first poem I'm going to read is called Fear. Fear of depression, fear of being destitute, feelings of despair and hopelessness, fear of doom and failure. Fear of being completely depleted, fear of my life not being fruitful and able to accomplish my God-given purpose. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but I have a mind that is sound. His peace rests in and submerses my soul, reminding me of the valuable treasure he has placed inside of me. God has created me for his purpose to bear fruit in its season, to remain hopeful and in no chaos, and the very certainty of God provides a heavenly, peaceful, that sustains, surpasses all understanding. And God has planned for my life, plans to prosper me and give me a hope and a future. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. This is the word I know and believe. So why are your feelings contrary to the word of God? The adversary is will, is real, and he's weak. He has... <laughs> He uses my fickle feelings and meager, e and meager earthly in inclinations to try and shift me off focus of the destiny of God. His sole objective is to rob, steal, kill, and, and destroy. His number one objective is to rob me of my joy. He comes to invade my mind and project these feelings of fear. False evidence appearing real. He comes to try and block my blessings and steal my joy, which is my strength. Anchored in my faith, if one knows who they are in God, then well, then we'll understand there's no need for fear. But instead, we will praise, praise God for our already, the victory is already won. The word says, those who fear are not made perfect in love. God takes all of my imperfection and makes me whole and complete in his love. And God, you are the true author of, my, of, the, of this perfection in love. Therefore, receiving God's love is the answer to battling fear. Okay.